Hey guys, what's up? Today I have the entire house to myself. So I figured that I'll just hang out with you guys today. It is low-key my favorite thing to do and I have no other friends, which I guess sounds depressing in theory, but I'm not sad about it. So I guess, I guess we're good. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just took a shower because I did my 12 3 30 and so many of you guys are doing my treadmill routine By the way, it makes me feel so good that we all share this thing that we love and You guys are just feeling great. The reason that I love it so much Loki is because like especially when I started getting into it I wasn't really confident in the gym at all or in my body or in anything but that was like the one thing that I could just like go do just one thing. And as soon as that was out of the way, I felt like this huge feeling of confidence and I felt proud of myself. And I kind of just like kept feeding off of that momentum and not wanting to miss any days. And that has evolved into me doing it for like two years now. And now I'm like super happy doing it every single day. But now that you guys are low key, like on a similar trajectory to me or even like doing it twice a day or whatever, like you guys love it and it just makes me so happy that we all like share this love for this little treadmill routine workout. So let me get dressed because um, as fun as it is standing here naked, I should probably, I should probably clothe myself. <laughs> I would love nothing more than to be the person that has an organized closet at all times. Like, I just remember going to, like, girlfriends' houses and being so, like, blown away or impressed by those girls that had, like, perfectly organized closets. Like, if you're one of those, like, color-coordinating people, like, wow. Like, you just have something in your brain that is so admirable and something that I think I, like, don't have. Ugh, but I guess we can't be beautiful and organized. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so kidding. That was sarcastic. But, yeah, I, I mean, you don't get everything you want in this life and... This definitely is just like a skill that I need to develop. I feel like we all are sharing this like mutual obsession with tie-dye sets these days. They're just like the easiest thing to throw on. And I'm pretty sure I have over 10 of them. Like shout out to all the Instagram brands that have just been coming in so clutch and sending me these like tie-dye sets. Like I have this one with a matching little tank top that's super cute. Like, come on, when you have a set like this, it's just so hard to put anything else on. Wait till you see these shorts. So this was sent to me by a company on Instagram called by Bruno. Shout out to you guys. I'm obsessed with tie-dye sets. I feel like summer's about to end though and it's gonna be summer, fall, winter, spring. It's gonna be fall and these tie-dye sets are not gonna make any sense for anybody involved. But like, do we care? Do you care about being like in season? I mean, I guess I kind of care, but like, this is real life, not the Devil Wears Prada. So like, should we care? Should I? I mean, I'll probably just wear these in the fall. But low-key fall does give me such Gossip Girl vibes that fall vibes would be fun too. Ugh. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Wow, don't I just like radiate sunshine and positivity and happiness? Yay! Uh, I need to buy a full body mirror guys. Why are they so expensive? Like it just keeps putting me off Like every time I want to buy one, they're like always over $500. I'm like, it's a mirror. Like what is it made out of? Glass like why are mirrors so ridiculous, but <laughs> Till then I got my nails done today guys and every time I go the classy route I never regret it but sometimes when I go to the nail salons like I don't know why I get these like super long acrylic nails. Like they are fun, but the way that these make me feel, like just short little acrylics with a natural color, it's just so unmatched. I just feel like a classy woman like this. But then I don't know, sometimes I do miss the fun of like the long dramatic acrylics, but like, come on, girl. This is just, this is just some classy sh but the lady today that was doing my nails definitely was a bully. Like she was bullying me and it's all my fault. When you go get your acrylic nails taken off, and I do know this, but I don't know why I keep like acting like I don't know it. You have to request that they soak them and they remove them by soaking them. 
Ugh, but I don't know why, like when I go into nail salons and they start like yanking them off, like sometimes I just don't say anything, even though on the inside I'm like, oh my God, soak my nails, why are you literally taking your pliers and cracking them and then using the nail itself and then going under and then like flicking it off, like that is so painful. And you know when you're just like sitting there and each nail you're just like holding your breath, like, just like waiting for all 10 of them to be done and it's always the ninth one that hurts. Ugh, I should have opened my mouth. I really just should have said something, but I'm shy. I've been really trying to make an effort to drink less coffee. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I absolutely love coffee, but I think I was drinking like two to three cups every single day. And I noticed that my energy comes like a little bit more in waves and I have crashes. So I've been doing my best to cut the amount of coffee. What's been helping me with that is trying to do workouts in the morning because literally like nothing gets me more pumped for a workout than a cup of coffee like right before. So if I wake up, have my morning coffee and then decide to wake up at like 3 p.m. I'm having that second cup at like 2.30 and it low-key like, I don't know, I just feel like it risks keeping us up at night, you know what I mean? So I've been trying to do the morning workouts and another thing is I've been trying to drink decaf coffee whenever I get that coffee craving. Now, obviously, it doesn't really like scratch the itch, you know, like it's that caffeine that I'm really craving, but it does help. So my goal is to get to like one cup of coffee a day. I feel like that's totally reasonable. And then like on a busy day too. But I just, I can't be doing threes anymore. I need to show you the coolest, most life-changing device I have found. Um, okay, so I was having like these 4.30 p.m. coffees hot or like when you do the iced thing, like the ice melts and then it gets super like watery, which is no fun for anybody involved until, hello ma'am, would you please zip? Okay. Until I got this contraption. Yo, it just makes so much sense. Let me show you this girl in action. Okay, so the way that the, I'm sorry, this just gets me so excited because you know when something just like makes sense and you're like, wow, everything about this just makes so much sense. Like, this makes sense. Okay, so this big thing, I guess like, you put it in the freezer and this, I don't know if it's a stone or a plastic or whatever it is, it freezes and then, you pour your hot coffee into this contraption and it makes your coffee cold. And you could just like pour it over your ice and it's ready to go. It just makes so much sense. Wow. Okay, I'm very proud to show you this because so much like thought and time and conceptualizing of this like went into this and it's finally here. But the garage gym is done. And I'm just like over the moon about it, but low key, I feel like I like did the most and created this garage gym so I can get like the ideal body. And now that it's here, I'm like not really going hard. Um, so I definitely need to do that. It's definitely on the list of things that I need to do. <laughs> Thing number one is start trying. Uh, yeah, but, um, it's cause it's so hot in this garage and like we do have something to like make it cooler in here, but I think it's just like the excuse that I'm telling myself. But regardless, I am super excited about this space. I'll do a full like in detail tour later where I tell you like where absolutely everything is from, what the purpose of everything is. But I mean, look, long story short, especially for those of you who aren't too into the gym and don't really care, I have like the gym mat folder that was installed. This was super important so that like weights could be dropped on it and it's not gonna like crack the cement. This is just a cage. So 
And here I intend on doing big girl squats, which is essentially like what I call squatting with weight because from what I've gathered, that is how I'm gonna grow a fat, juicy butt. Like the squatted weights, like yes, like the bands are fun and I say that very generously because I cannot stand those banded, like, you know, these things. They just really bother me to do them, but they are important. Um, but low key like this is how you make your butt big, weighted squats. So I'm gonna start getting on that because I want to grow it big. You know, I really, <laughs> I really want it to be nice and massive. So that's what this is for. And then I got these dumbbells. It's like on a dumbbell rack and it's a bunch of dumbbells. So again, haven't started, but my plan is to start working on the arms, the back, everything. And obviously I have my treadmill, 12, 330. You already know the deal. And this right here is called a glute ham developer. Oh my God, I guess I could demonstrate for you guys. Cause there's really no way for me to explain this. Um, sure, why not? This was so scary to do the first couple times cause you feel like you're gonna fall and crack your head. And like this machine was built by us. So I didn't have a lot of trust in the integrity of it. I think there's like a missing screw, but I trust it now. <laughs> So it's to do crunches like this, <laughs> oh God. Oh, as you can tell, I don't use this much. So it's to do crunches like that. And then the other one, wait, how's the other one? I think, okay. And you do these, and these really also grow the booty. So basically, long story short, um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a big fat wagon. And that's just Max. And that concludes the mini gym tour. Thank you for watching. I did reach a new PR, which is like a gym terminology for a personal record in the garage gym the other day. And I squatted 65 pounds, which is more than I've ever squatted before. When I used to go to the gym, I think I would do like 45, but I did the 65s. And I don't think I did that many. I think I probably did like two sets of eight or something, but it's a start. And I'm gonna start building on that weight. And I think it'll be fun. I think, yeah, I think that will be fun. But the next two days after hitting that PR, I was so sore. I was walking around. What's Megan the Sign say? She's like, I got a limp, limp A. Walk with a dent, dent, ow. <laughs> okay, um, that was a terrible impression. But I wanted to quickly show you the studio. It is so disastrous right now. It was so clean like a week ago, but now things are just like hitting the fan. And this is the room that I'm most excited for. And it's just kind of sad because right now it's just like <laughs> in crumbles. Like my poor little one million balloons are there deflated. I feel like I've just like given up on this room because I'm low-key just like waiting till these get installed. I hope these turn out good. The vision that I have is like all this back wall is gonna be like built-in drawers and makeup storage. And we went with Ikea because it's like the cheapest way to do it. Apparently their woodwork is good. I really hope it's good. I just hope it comes out good. And I hope it's not like lo barato sale caro. But I, I, I don't know, I have faith in it that it's gonna look good. And then I have this textured wallpaper that I'm gonna put around here. And I think this place is gonna look good. But right now, since it's since this is the last room that I ordered everything for, it's kind of like all catching up to me and like almost everything is done around the house except for this room. And this is the room that I wanna be in the most. Like I wanna do my get ready with me in here so bad. But in due time, in due time. I've gotten some really fun PR recently and I can't wait to like organize it. I'm just like waiting for this room to be set up. But Too Faced sent me like every lip injection ever. I didn't even know that they came in this many colors. And there's more, like, there's probably like 20 of them. And what else did I get? I got these like Bondi Boost hair products. They're a wave thing. I got this for a sponsored post and I like used it a little bit before the sponsored post. And yo, like I was not expecting it to be so good. This was, this is amazing. Like out of all the little like crimpers, cause there's so many of them, this one just slays low key. 
I got some Tati lash, <laughs> not Tati lashes. I got some Tati lashes. I feel like you guys always ask me what lashes I wear. I know that they're this brand. I'll put them on the screen though because I have no idea off the top of my head which ones they are. But the PR package that I'm really excited about and that I've noticed so much hype for, where is it? Hold on. The PR that I got that I was actually, why is this lighting so trash? Hold up. Is this better? Okay. <laughs> a PR that I got that I was actually excited for was the Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez. She launched her beauty brand. And yo, I feel like she got like so much hate from for releasing a beauty brand. I'm like, yo, y'all are such haters. How dare you do that to, what was her name? Something Russo. Alex Russo. How dare you treat Alex Russo that way? Like, come on. Did you forget where we all came from? Like, we grew up on this girl. Like, ugh the drama on the internet sometimes. But anyways, when I opened this box, I was like so surprised because I've never seen a PR package come this cool. It's like this and then the drawers open up to more product. So I just thought the presentation of the PR package was really cool, but I figured that I would wait to do a full first impressions like on camera. So I'm just gonna do that right now and kind of like see what my genuine opinion is first time using it. It comes with a little sponge and also it comes with like the pricing of everything and it seems pretty reasonable. Let me see. Okay, so the concealers are 19 bucks. I mean, that's like a lot cheaper than Shape Tape. The primer is 26 bucks. I never prime, should I try that today? Yeah. The foundation's 29 bucks. I feel like that's cheaper than like Born This Way. The gel, eyebrow gel, and little spoolie things, 22 bucks, not bad. Liquid blush, 20 bucks. So like the prices for this are, the sponge is 14 bucks. So like the prices for this are pretty reasonable. And I believe it's sold at Sephora. So I'm curious because the packaging doesn't look cheap at all. Like I even put some of these like against my counter yesterday and they looked really nice and like kind of luxe on it. So I'm like, okay, the packaging is cute. It's sold at Sephora. I don't know what the quality of the makeup is gonna be, but. Okay, so let's play around with these and see what Miss Selena has in store. What, it, like in terms of expectations, I really, I don't really have any expectations. I feel like I'm just gonna be, I don't know. Let's see, I wanna be like, it's gonna be great, but I also like don't know if I have any like actual accurate predictions on what this is gonna be like, but if I had to go based off of packaging alone, I think it's gonna be nice. So we shall see. I don't know if this is gonna be like a medium or a full coverage foundation. I also don't know what shade I am. Um, well, let's match it to my body first of all. I wash my face so much that it's always like five shades lighter than my body and it makes foundation matching quite the challenge. All right, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna go with, oh, they don't have fun names. It's just like C-S-O-F-1, but that's all right. Oh wait, no, it's 280N. That is the shade. So this is what the bottle looks like. I think it's actually really pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, this is pretty watery. Like it feels like a watery foundation, which I'm assuming means it won't be too thick or like too much coverage. Let's see. Oh my God, I forgot the primer. Oops. <laughs> so this beauty blender is like weird. I don't know. I just feel like it's not really getting the foundation on the skin well. Okay, yeah, I'm not obsessed with this sponge and I don't know if it's making me not like the product. So I'm gonna switch back to my beauty blender for the concealer. Okay, so the doe foot of the concealer is like a weird shape too. I mean, it's not that weird. It's just a shape that I've never really seen. Okay, so this concealer did do a pretty nice job of covering my dark circles, which is not an easy job because my dark circles are just like incredibly dark and I am pretty happy with how they were covered. Yeah, actually, yeah, I actually like this concealer. I feel like I'm, I want to be critical of it, but the concealer, I really just don't have anything bad to say. 
Okay, cool. I was honestly just let down by the foundation, but I don't even think it's the foundation now. I literally think it's this. I don't think this is it. But the, yeah, maybe the foundation and the concealer formula is good. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the liquid blush. It comes in these four colors and they seem to be pretty vibrant in the packaging. Like this is what they look like. Um, I'm gonna go with the orangey one because it seems sun-kissed and pretty. I don't know how I'm supposed to blend it in. I'm supposed to use a finger, but I'm also gonna have this on standby, which is the brush that I typically use for my liquid blush that I use now, which by the way, guys, I am so obsessed with this. Like I think it's a must have, especially for the summer, but the Morphe 2 new like movies, this one is from the collab with Maddie Ziegler, but this is the Morphe 2 cream blush, but it's not even like a cream, it's a mousse. Like it's a, literally a mousse and it just applies so perfectly. This is such a must have. Let's see if Miss Selena can top this for me because I cannot stop wearing this every day. It's just so good. So again, there's like a thick doe foot. Um, I guess I'll just dot it on. Oh my god, I think I put too much. Oh shoot. Oh my god, maybe I should have read the directions or something, but I just put so much of this on. I look so ridiculous. <gasps> Guys, oh god, I'm so dumb. Why didn't I? You probably need like two little drops of this thing, and I just went overboard. But this is what I was worried about. I was worried that the color would be like neon, and now I just look insane. Jesus. Okay. This is so not cute. So, um, this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> Even though this does look crazy and like I'm wearing just like a bunch of pink all over my face, like a pink mask, it also low key reminds me of that one pink look Rihanna did to the Met Gala. So, I mean, it, it could be worse. Okay, I've done some blending and it actually sits really nice on top of this foundation and it doesn't separate the foundation, which is nice. And I really think I would have liked this blush if I just applied the correct amount. But it looks like I have a cute like little natural sunburn. So like I said, things could be worse. Let's try the next product. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a liquid highlight. It comes in four colors. Well, actually, I don't know how many colors it comes in. I just know that they sent me four. So sometimes with these liquid highlights, they're super, super intense. And it kind of takes your look like more over the top than you want it to be. But this one is low key not that in your face and it just kind of like blends in and looks pretty natural. So I'm liking this so far. I'm actually liking everything so far. Like there really hasn't been one thing that I'm like, no girl, that is a miss. But the look is coming out very cute. It looks just like natural and sun-kissed. Okay, I'm gonna try to put on my Chanel bronzer with this brush. Yeah, so I definitely like this brush way more than the small one for applying my cream contour and I'm gonna keep this one out because I do see myself using this more. And it came with this brow gel that I really low-key don't wanna use because I've been so into the clear brow gel. This one has a tint to it. What I will say though is I am loving natural makeup so much more than a full beat these days because you just look so like cute with natural makeup. I love it so much. It's like, it's just the wave. And it's easier and I'm lazy. Okay, so this is what they look like just with curling them and with a bit of mascara. So I highly recommend getting a lash lift. Yeah, that does feel really nice and really hydrating. The way that I gauge if I like products or not is if when I get the PR, I like keep them by my everyday makeup and keep using them. And a bunch of these products, I do intend continuing to use them. So I would say overall, I really liked this. This is the face at the end. I mean, I kept it like super clean and super natural but I like it. I like this stuff and I really think the price point of the products is very fair. I think crazy brows are so cute. Now I get what people mean when they say never touch your eyebrows and you're like, why? But they need to be perfect. Uh, well now I regret it because eyebrow trends change so often. Like literally those cut Instagram brows were the trend like a year ago. And now this is a trend and it's just so hard to keep up. So I have this monthly thermometer where I write out my goals for the month 
and you're supposed to like week by week check off like a box like when things get done and Loki I at the end of last month like kind of gave up on it which is not the tea but basically I didn't meet like one of the goals and I got discouraged so I just like stopped filling it in and I haven't looked at it in a week and I've been feeling pretty wonky and today I looked back at my list of goals and I had this moment of realization I'm like wait I literally had gotten like every single thing that I wrote down except for one thing <laughs> and then I low-key like gave up looking at the whole list of goals just because I knew I didn't get that one thing completed so I had this whole realization today where I'm like okay you need to like show up for yourself and show up for your goals regardless of if you get every single one of them or not I feel like I was just being super hard on myself but when I was looking at that paper today I was optimistic and happy because I'm like wait every other thing on this paper I was able to get so it was a little check yourself moment of being proud of myself today instead of like being so hard on myself about missing one thing so now what I have to do tomorrow is get that list back on and pop in start crossing off my boxes and the goal that I didn't hit this month just like make up for it next month so happy September let me know if you guys like write down your goals and stuff I think it's super helpful having a visual like guide and path like you know when you just like wake up in the morning and you don't really know what you're gonna do that day I mean especially now that we're all home and stuff it's easier to kind of like lose track of the overall goal in life for this year or this month or this week so it can be easy to just kind of like be a couch potato or be negative or just like scroll on Instagram all day long. So I find it really valuable having monthly goals and checking my boxes every week. So I'm excited to get back on that tomorrow because I did feel the impact of like not checking in my boxes and it kind of felt like I was giving up on myself, which is not the tea. <laughs> Literally not the tea. So tomorrow I'll do that. Maybe I'll vlog that process and you guys could see that in the next video too but um yeah writing down goals is so helpful like it really is my guilty obsession these days has been selling sunset on netflix i feel like the whole thing is just so obviously scripted and like i just feel like it's very obvious to the viewer but like i can't stop watching it just like real estate gets me going. I love watching real estate shows, but this one feels like, I don't know. It just feels like an e-show, but real estate and on Netflix and like low key, I watch for the drama, but then you just mix like real estate in there, which I don't know. I'm just obsessed with this series. I feel like the only other options you can really get for like real estate shows are like those HGTV ones which can be fun but they're always like so cheesy and you don't really ever care about the characters in it because they're just like not personable and you could tell that they're like faking a lot of the stuff and like this one is also like that but in a different way but like sometimes the drama like feels real and I can't stop watching this show so let me know what you guys are watching because now that I'm finally like getting into shows, it just feels so nice having something to watch. Guys, I feel like I always eat out and then I blame it on not having food in my fridge and then I go get my groceries and it's the next day, like today. And I don't feel like eating what's in my fridge. I'm really good at making breakfast, but when it comes to like making dinners and stuff, I just get so lazy and I just want to post something. Like I can make eggs, but I don't want to get like the chicken on my fingers and like put the seasoning and put it in the air fryer, you know what I mean? Oh gosh, why am I so lazy? Ugh, there's like nothing else that I want. You know it's so easy to make at home tacos, like a little taco night? That is so easy if you're trying to do like grocery healthy-ish food. I should do a what I eat in a day. I should do like an updated one. But yeah, that's an easy option for at home because you literally just get the little taco shells, you get the beef, and it takes like two seconds to make. You get the taco seasoning, avocado, sour cream, guac, like that's literally it. And if you make your own guac, it's easy. Should I do that? Should I do taco night? I don't know if I have taco shells. Oh my God, it's happening. Oh my God. I have uh, one uh, crunched up taco shell and uh, one full one. Let's see if I have beef. 
Yeah, being an adult is like fun in theory, but sometimes, sometimes it's not. Okay, yay, top one I did is I have everything. Yes, I feel so successful when I make myself little crappy meals and don't order food in. I can handle breakfast, like I can do omelets, avocado toast, like give it to me, but the dinners, like how do you just like cook something that's not macaroni and cheese? That's where I always get hung up, but I feel like this is a good middle ground. Uh, the blood from cooking freaks me out, like the little juices. I need to get over this, like I'm definitely, I need to grow up for lack of a better word, but the juices, the juices. Ew. I've been going on these weird YouTube uh, binges and I've been watching like basically all these different videos, that's like my first day of college and I see these girls moving into their dorms and I'm so confused. Like are people, is that happening? Are people going to campus and living in dorms? And then I was even watching one of them and the girl like goes to campus, moves in all her stuff. And then she's like, it's my first day of online school. So I'm like, wait, you're moving to college to do online school? I'm just confused. So if anybody wants to clarify, let me know. Cause I know I was even talking to my sister about it. Cause she's 17, about to be 18. And she's like, I want to, you know, leave the house, but it's like not an option right now. And then I go on YouTube and I see people doing it. So does anybody know the answer? I'm literally just curious. I just drenched the meat in taco seasoning. And what you do to get some really easy flavor is you buy these pre-packaged garlic cloves. And this makes your meat so flavorful. Cause like, I don't like buying the ones that you have to like unwrap them yourself. Because those just like take a little bit longer. I mean, I'm sure they taste a little better, but I feel like this is like a good middle ground between the ones that just come in a jar and they're all tiny and you just like pour them in. I feel like this is more flavorful than that and way easier than just the cloves themselves. So I'm gonna get like three of them. I'm a huge fan of garlic. I'm gonna chop them up real tiny and add them to the meat. Adobo is like God's gift to this earth when it comes to seasoning. It is so good. If you've never tried it, you need it. Like I think it's a Latin thing and it is so good. Chicken, steak, tacos, whatever. I feel like this is a healthy-ish quick dinner. I made my guac too. Yo, these are so life-changing. Like you definitely need one of these. Mocajete, mocate, I don't know what it's called exactly, but major tea. Even with your guac, like season it. Like I don't just put avocados in there, girl. You put the avocados in, you put the oil, the olive oil in, you put lemon pepper in there, you put salt if you want, you put adobo, and you give your guac some flavor. <laughs> it's like the extent of my cooking knowledge. I'm sorry, guys. Ugh, I would do more cooking with Lauren type videos, but you know, I'm very uh, entry level when it comes to the kitchen. We're gonna top it off with some Parmesan. As much as I would love to cut dairy from my diet because when I have done it in the past, it makes it so easy to get like toned muscle and like abs low key and definition in your back and everything. Like as much as I would love to do that, Parmesan cheese, yo, come on. How does one live without it? I've tried the vegan alternatives. Nothing compares. Mm. Mm. I was thinking about it today and I really want to go visit my friends in LA so bad. Like, I'm so happy living in Scottsdale and this house has been a dream. The city is so peaceful. Like I drive around and it is literally peaceful. It's also a cool city in general. Like the restaurants are cool. It's poppin', it's trendy. It really is truly everything. I feel like it's LA minus the crazy stuff that makes LA hectic. But I've been thinking about it and I wanna do like a little weekend in LA, I wanna see my friends. I don't know if I should plan it with them or if I should pull up on them. 
and just be like, surprise. But then I always get nervous that I'm unwanted that way. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot to just like surprise somebody with your presence. Obviously, I would get my own hotel and everything. But like, what if they have other plans? I don't know how I'm gonna go about it, but I do definitely want to do that in the future and like vlog it. I feel like it would just be a cute time. But I would say like, I definitely don't really miss the place that much, but I do miss the people and I miss having people that I've known for a while around me. Like everybody here is kind of like new and it's not really the most conductive envir environment, environment to make friends right now because the world is literally not a thing. So I just like miss my friends. I want to go and like talk about nothing and just like vibe it out. So I am think I'm going to do an LA trip for like a day or like two days soon. And I think that would just be such a fun little vlog. I'm going to have a glass of red wine tonight because why not? Guys, I've low-key been into having like one glass of red wine every now and then. And the key that I have learned in doing this is to try to find bottles that are twist off because Loki, if you open one of the other ones with the corks or whatever, if you don't finish it that night, it kind of goes bad. Cause I'll like have a glass, forget about it for two days, three days, and then the whole entire bottle goes bad. So I try to find twisties so I can just have one glass, put it back and keep it fresh. I've also been expanding my wine horizons, which is fun. I used to only do Mayomi which is like the basic bitch wine essentially, but it's like, like everybody drinks it, like it's whatever. And then I discovered that I really like Malbecs, whatever that means. I think it's an Argentinian wine. So shout out to my Argentinian followers if you're out there. Love your steak, love your wine. Okay, let's get this taco night. Cheers, girls. I lucky forgot to end this video, but I have my Ollie's because I'm about to go to sleep. Um, did really fun training with Lua today, so we trained her to like do this thing called play stay, which is where she chills on her bed, and that's what it is. So we motivated her with the food, and we did like basically like lay on the bed and then come off, whatever, blah blah blah. And that's what we gave her her dinner, and that's basically all you missed. Okay, Illy, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Goodbye.